I assure you that the Spirit loves you so dearly and the Spirit and, and all the angels rejoice at every little effort you make to forgive, at every little contribution you make in your mind to forgiveness for, for the whole. There is great rejoicing, even for the tiniest one. You shouldn't be concerned that you're not worthy to do this. You shouldn't be concerned you haven't, haven't really, you know, given given your life over or done this. You shouldn't compare yourself to anything. All those things really don't mean anything. They don't amount to anything. I mean, there's a lot of cliches even that, that we grow up hearing. Uh, and, and even the cliches aren't, aren't true or aren't entirely true. And they need to be tweaked a little bit. And that's why we have these conferences and these interactions. It's, it's fun to come together. I love going all over the world and meeting people all over the world because I don't believe in problems and sometimes they tell me they do believe in problems and I say, well, let's just sit down and have a heart-to-heart -heart talk and we usually end up laughing and, and, you know, they come around to my point of view that there are no problems or at least momentarily they're willing to <laughs> merge in happiness because because they want to be happy they want to feel the love so we you know I've had so many dinners and lunches where I just sit there and I was traveling one time through Pennsylvania and a woman called me up on my cell phone she said where are you I said well, I'm I'm coming through this town I'm coming across from Wheeling West Virginia and coming across the the bridge to, uh, into Ohio, she said, oh, I know this restaurant. Take this exit and I'll meet you for lunch. I said, okay. So I drive over the river, get off at the exit, come, I, I go to the restaurant. I'd never met the woman before. She, oh, let me give you a big hug. And, oh, come on, let's go over, let's have lunch. Okay, okay. So I sit down at the booth and she leans in the booth and she says, what are you experiencing right now? And I said, that it's just us. It's only us and, and the whole world is with us. But it's only us. It's right, right now. This is, I said, it's so wonderful. It's so, she said, okay, you want to order something? So, yeah. so we talk. And then I said, I said, just imagine if you could start thinking that that there is a no world apart from your thoughts. Like, for example, let's use us. Let's say that this barn and this stage and this room, imagine that you can, you can look around, you can perceive the lights and you can feel the temperature and you can look around at the bodies and everything. But just imagine that there was nothing outside of this room. There, if somebody said, Amsterdam, you would say, no, there is no Amsterdam. But you, what about the United States? No, there is no United States. China? No, there's no China. The moon? No. The sun? No, it's not, doesn't. Because everything is just a thought in your mind. Remember, it's all a projection. And ideas leave not their source. So you have got with you now a world of ideas and you may think that there are actual cities out there and actual people and actual countries. And you may think there's an environmental struggle going on and political struggles and, and warfare and all these different things. But Jesus tells us in Lesson 132, there is no world apart from what you think. So you can imagine things, but it doesn't make them real. And you can see how relaxing that gets. When, G when John Lennon, remember when John Lennon made that song, Imagine? I was just, I had the biggest smile on my face when I heard Imagine. Imagine there's no country. I wonder if you can. I had to, I had to play that a few times. I, I, okay, I'll try. There's no country. Whew. Starting to feel better. I had projected a lot of things onto those countries, you know. 
Imagine there's no government. You know, imagine that this is a world of imagination and it's just in your mind and the only way you can heal it is by bringing it back to where it seems to be. Then you can let it go. But you can't let it go if you think it's out there, you know. All you can do is point the finger and blame and this should be different and I don't like this politician and why are they doing this to the animals and why are they doing this to the the environment and the ozone layer and why, 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 you know, you have a choice to project and get all in a huff. What was the Beatles, John Lennon, Strawberry Fields Forever? There's nothing to get huff about. You either get into a huff by projecting or you see there's nothing to get huff about, hung about. I think it's hung. You don't, you don't have to get hung up. <laughs> hung up. So for me, that is a way to start to bring your mind closer and closer to your thoughts and just start to look at your thoughts and start to really think to yourself, are these thoughts really contributing to my happiness and my joy and peace of mind or not? And perhaps if the thoughts are not feeling good and joyful and, and contributing to your peace of mind, you might consider letting, letting them go. Because our workbook lesson today, if you follow along day by day, is I can elect to change all thoughts that hurt. You can do that. You actually can do that with everything. You can all elect to change all thoughts that hurt. Doesn't that seem so intuitively helpful to know that if, if you had the power to believe in them, you must have the power to, to let them go or to not believe in them anymore. You, you can reverse whatever seemed to go on and, and you don't even have to be concerned about how long it took to become so seduced with these dark thoughts. You, you don't even care how long it took to get this way. You just want to be free of it. You want to come to freedom. And you come to freedom by letting go of those hurtful thoughts, attack thoughts, judgments, grievances. There's just no point in holding on to grievances when they're taking away your precious peace of mind, which is natural. You know, you, there's no point in hanging on to those anymore. <laughs>